Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tungsten Tells for the 2014 World Darts Championship. I'm honoured to say we've been joined by Paul Nicholson after a cracking 3-0 win in a really high-quality game. Paul, how do you feel about that? You must be happy. Yeah, I'm ecstatic. You know, uh, the game with Stuart, um, over the last few days, I've thought about how I needed to play it to get through this game. And I did exactly what I wanted to, to do, really. Uh, you know, it was tricky the first couple of sets I felt like Stuart was really coming at me yeah. and I needed to uh, really poke back at him yeah. and I needed, to, I needed to do that because otherwise he would have steamrolled me 3-0 yeah. yeah. and I think experience took its toll today, yeah. I really did and uh, you know I'm, I'm 34 years of age now, I've, I've been doing this for five or six years, this is my sixth world championship yeah. and when I woke up this morning I thought experience has got to yeah. you know, work in your favour at some yeah. point. Yeah. And it did tonight because I felt very, very comfortable yeah. and I felt aggressive. And I haven't felt that w that good since the Grand Prix. No. And I've got to keep that going. Yeah, yeah. there's some fantastic performance in, in the Grand Prix. And in fact, to be honest, I mean, uh, it's just shy of 100 average, just shy of a 50% dart uh, double check. I mean, they're great stats for the first round. Uh, uh, would you say the first round is the most nerve wracking? Because I know you've gone, obviously, you were a Players' Championship winner and you've gone deep in you know, quarters, in, in uh, just about all the other majors uh, is the first round is that the nerve one because it's, it's a long way back isn't it back home after if you're not coming back here you know, for, for the second round I think a lot of players still think like the old school you if you win your first game you're in after Christmas but it doesn't work like that no, anymore yeah. you've got to come back before Christmas now yeah. so the mentality is changing yeah. but however to answer your question the first round is a lot is very nerve-wracking yeah. this is the biggest stage yeah. that we play on in in the entire season and this is where we want to come. Yes. Yeah. So to play like that and have a performance pretty much that mirrored what I did in my first performance on the big stage here is very pleasing. Yeah. It yeah. was clinical. Yeah. I did my job and I can go home and I can prepare over the next five or six days to yeah. get ready for the next challenge. Yeah. And of course, the next challenge could be, well be against your good friend, uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Painter. Would you wor just worry about that nearer the time? Just for it. Yeah, we'll see what Kevin does first. Yeah. You know, he's got a tough game against Thomas first. Yeah. And uh, you know, Thomas has worked his way into this championship uh, for good reason. And you know, Kevin and I are very good friends. But I'd like to think that if Kevin and I do play each other next, it will be lots of fun. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there'll be any love lost up there. <laughs> no. Because. The last thing you want to see from friends is any real friendliness up there. You want to batter each other. Yeah. I mean, if you see Bo or Kayla Anderson play each other yeah, or yeah. Kim Hybrecht or Ronnie Hybrecht, uh, for instance, you know, there's no love lost when you've got a lot of money on the line and ranking points, and that's what it's all about yeah. when it comes to Kevin and I. You know, it's ranking points, and you want to get yourself in a position to start next season with confidence yeah. and give yourself a, an opportunity to win this tournament. Yeah. You know, you've got... I know it's a cliche, but you've got to take it one game at a time. Yeah. You know, I took my first game tonight, I've done the job. Next game, I know what is ahead. Yeah. I've got to win another game, yeah. best of seven. Yeah. So from there, it's a case of if I can win that, I'm in the last 16. I've covered my ranking points from two years ago, yes. and then I can really shoot on. Yeah, that's it, because of course the World Championship, there was so much prize money. The ranking, I mean, number 20 in the world. Now, you, I, obviously, you're going to say it, and I think, of course, you can be a lot higher than this. And maybe a place in the Premier League which go, may go along with that, which uh, is that something, uh, obviously, you want to play all the diets you can, but with this sort of atmosphere, I think you, you relish this sort of thing in the Premier League. I mean, it's still buzzing out there now, we can hear, hear it now. So, Premier League, is that something you, you, you like to get into, surely? <laughs> I used to think about it, but. Um... I had a very profound conversation with Andy Hamilton two years ago and we talked about the fact that you've got to take each tournament as it comes and every game as it comes yeah. because if you think about each game and win each game as it comes, yeah. especially in this tournament, you can actually find yourself in the Premier League before you know it. Yeah, yeah. If you think about the Premier League, you're not going to get there. No, no. Um, it, it's just a learning curve. You know, funnily enough, when I had this conversation with Andy, he was in the Premier League after this tournament because he got to the final yeah, and yeah. he had the, the perfect approach. Yeah. You know, I do believe that there are two nailed on wild cards yeah. for the Premier League going into February next year yeah. um, because of characters and for pure talent. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if those guys don't prove themselves in this tournament, they don't deserve to yeah. be there. And it's, it, it's got to be about talent first yeah. and character second. Yeah. Would you like to tell us who those two players are? Would you like to keep that to yourself? Keep it to myself for now.
Okay, we'll have that in the next interview when you go on today. Okay. Yeah, yeah we can do that. If you don't mind, uh, obviously, we briefly mentioned uh, Kyle's name earlier on, of course, from Australia, the nine dark check out two today, but uh, obviously, Terry, fantastic as well. But, Kyle, any special words for that? Because that's a great an achievement, isn't it, for Kyle today? I know Kyle quite well. Uh, I've got to know him over the last 12 months, and he's such a super kid, um, very motivated, and such a lovely nature. And for him to do such a, a monumental thing, you know, nobody deserves it more than he does because he's worked really hard this year. He's the AGP champion for the DPA and, you know, I've been there myself. You know, coming over here, he's got a little bit more experience and I know how much he wants to play on the Pro Tour full time. Yeah. And for him to actually get a big check like that, hopefully, because yeah. yeah. you never know, there might be more nine daughters. That's right, it's only the first round, <laughs> but, isn't it? Um, I'm sure TJ was thinking he had 30 grand in the yeah. kitty, but... So it's 15 large out of the ring, as they say. He was probably in the car and somebody texted him saying, I'm sorry, but you've only got 15 now, <laughs> so far. And the way it was going, it could have been down to 10. With yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, you know, yeah. Kyle's a very, very dangerous player. Yeah. Um, he's proved himself in the Oceanic region. He's won the yes. Japan Open, I yeah. believe, as well. So he's in the eastern side of the world, he's done it. Yeah. If he brings it west, yeah. he's going to be very dangerous. Yeah. And just doing that on the biggest stage of the all is going to give you a massive amount yeah. of confidence. Obviously, the, the adrenaline that he felt yeah. you know, in that situation was, was very hard to handle. Yeah. And Ian was very um, you know, clinical in, in, yeah, in doing, the job. doing the job. But as far as I'm concerned, you know, Kyle did a fantastic job today. And uh, he should be very proud of himself, yeah. as TJ should. Yeah. Because he's, he's done a marvellous thing. It hasn't been done very often. No, very much. But I've got a sneaky feeling that's not the last one. No. One from yourself, Paul? I haven't hit one yet. No. I've well, got, to, I've got to hit one in a pro tour first. <laughs> I mean, the TV. No, but let's go for it in a big You style, never know. Right? You never yeah. know. Well, that's fantastic, Paul. Thank you very much for your time. Would you mind signing our, our wall, uh, wall chart here with the progress of the World Championship? There we go. And there we go. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us on Tunks and Tales. That's the asset, Mr. Paul Nicholson, moving on to the second round of the World Darts Championship. Thanks for joining us. Tunks and Tales keeping you at the sharp end of World Darts. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Paul.